Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to another RPG a day. We're Intelligence Mod. I'm Clint and I am joined by Jonathan and Ted. And it is the 26th and today's prompt is theory, but we're going to be using the alternate origin. And what we're going to be talking about is our Marvel origin stories of how we got into tabletop gaming in general. We're going to be brief, so this isn't going to be like a super long thing, but uh uh, who wants to go first? All right, you, you, that's fine. Jonathan can go first then. I was taught to raise my hand, dang it. Uh, for me, it's pretty simple. Probably one a lot of people could uh, kind of share in. Uh, it was, I believe, sixth grade. I was standing out at recess somewhere, talking to a couple people I kind of knew. Um, I believe my school sold ice cream sandwiches and giant cookies. That was like the hot items. And so I was eating an ice cream sandwich. The other guys were eating giant cookies. And uh, somebody mentioned, have you guys ever heard about D&D? &D? And I was like, isn't that the the game that, or like that show? Talking about the animated show from like the 90s or whatever it was. It's from the and 80s, like, I think. <laughs> and he's like, what are you talking about? Show? No, it's a game. And I was like, oh, a game, you say? And, you know, one thing led to another. And a few months later, I was in uh, his garage with him, his brother, the other friend, and his dad, and their cousin, I think, and was like, all right, you two new guys, you're dwarf fighters. You get washed up on the shore, and antlions drag you into their, uh, their ant tunnels. Go. And I was like, uh, what? And that's basically how I started D&D uh, &D and tabletop gaming in general. I hadn't really done much more than like Uno or, you know, tic-tac-toe on a napkin at Applebee's <laughs> before that. Um, but it was the start of a long, fun journey. Although second edition can be a little <sighs> weird. But other than that, it was a great time. So I know I've talked about it before a little bit. Like my dad got me into it when I was seven years old. We played second edition D and D. Killed my very first character in the first thirty minutes of the game. Uh, then I swore undying vengeance upon him. But I've not mentioned was after that he introduced me to Traveler, which is two, which was the last edition of Traveler where you could die when during character creation. I died four times. By the way, I'm eight years old doing this, and they make me the engineer, which means I can pile up a ship just fine and get to where we're going because I'm young and I think outside the box versus needing an engineering degree to use these damn ships in that edition. It was a weird game. Played Call of Cthulhu when I was 10 years old and played Doctor Who between that with uh, him and uh, when I, his uh, girlfriend and everything like that. So like the two of us, she was a doctor, I was the companion and a doll like vaporized me. It was uh, pretty fun. <laughs> but the Call of Cthulhu one was, I think, like more memorable for once because that got me reading Lovecraft at age 10. So I had to read three stories. I instead borrowed my dad's first edition books and read all of them and took them to school. Wasn't supposed to do that. Oh, well. Didn't realize they were that valuable. <laughs> I was young. <laughs> but I really enjoyed That's kind of like, that was kind of like my first, like, big major, like, this is a lot of fun. I really enjoy this. And then back to the D&D &D and stuff, so a long long jury that's my origin so, story i think i i think i started the latest i think i was the oldest when i started among all the three of us i was a junior in high school and i had a a friend that was in my boy scout troop izzy who happened to own the first edition um not the not the like super first ones what were the ones the first ones that were uh that were hard bound was that second edition Yep, that was second edition. I don't remember it being advanced. We were using really old books, and at this point, 3.5 was out, and we really were not playing the game correctly. And then later on, I went to my old Wizards of the Coast store to freaking date myself when the Wizards of the Coast had physical stores uh, and bought a 3.5 player's handbook, which I still have. Um, and so we finally, once I got that book, realized, oh, there's actually real character sheets. So we had been playing for probably eight months before we started using character sheets. 
and we were still using the original second edition books and a 3.5 manual to make this like weird like bastardized version of D D that was really more like role playing and continually continue like occasionally rain rolling dice and i played in that game with uh a few of my neighbor uh, a neighbor uh, uh two neighbors and my best friend in high school and and izzy and we played in that until late into my senior year and two of us got busy with senior projects and we had to we basically the the campaign died um i actually still own they're packed up right now i'd actually pull them out but it would have been perfect for this video i still own my original D, D character sheet along with everyone else in my original party because i was the one that held everyone's character sheets i have a binder with all of our hand-drawn maps of towns and stuff so i still own That's all cool. my crap so my original Kronos Lilir, who I've made grandsons of, I've actually like continued his line. Um, I still own all that crap. But then I, it wasn't until um, college when I met Ted and I had stopped playing since then. So it'd been like three years, met Ted. We both wanted to find a D and D group to play. And then we started playing. And then I discovered there was way other more tabletop role-playing games than that. And now they're literally like, filling these boxes down behind me most of these boxes are full of role-playing game books uh not completely you guys i know you're going to help me move they're they're stacked some and then the rest of empty air is filled with other crap Ooh, so they're not stacked bricks <laughs> just to say um but yeah that's kind of my 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 origin story i know i went the longest but well th there was one more origin story i wanted to actually think it's like i think we should probably tell because it's like the perfect way to do that and that is actually kind of like the origin story of how like we met oh like, yeah <laughs> no that's super funny that's, no offense to, no offense to jonathan we were just on the same floor of a dorm and that's how we met it's not as funny as how ted and i met <laughs> yeah because it was like the origin story of like how clint and i like started this thing because we've been like it's been 10 years it's like like this, like that's a bit it's also it's pretty funny. And so we met in English class at the calls we're both going to. I believe it was 101. Week. Yeah, it was English 101, how to like you know write. Yeah. Um, so we're just sitting there and we get a okay, you have to write about a something. And it was a descriptive, like, it, was, it was a it was a descriptive okay. paper. Descriptive paper, you have to write about something descriptive and you're able to provide pictures. And I asked the teacher, she comes over, and I was like, hey, can I use a model that I'm painting? She's like, sure, yeah. And then Clint just turns to me and goes, what? What, <laughs> what, what model are you painting? So and I'm sitting so here I thinking, I was thinking it was some car or something, but really I was hoping it was something 40K. And so I show him a picture, and it's a Lizardman model I'm painting for Warhammer Fantasy. <laughs> and he's like, do you play? I'm like, yeah, I play Warhammer and stuff like that. So we just started talking, and then we had to pick a partner to do our papers and so we chose each other and then the rest of the rest of that quarter every project we're working together we're doing these we're doing these papers on D, &D on like D, D stuff because then it was describe creating something and we both went with D, &D characters <laughs> like how to create a character and we provided, I, wrote, like, I, I used to until a couple of years ago i had one of those papers still on my computer saved it was like how to write a dungeon campaign like actually like yeah. an instructional paper on how to write on how to create a uh a session of D, D in a dungeon and i specifically used one word our english teacher had never seen in an actual paper which was ne'er-do-wells i actually used that in there and specifically wrote on the paper i've never seen someone use this in a paper and you used it correctly in the sentence because who I says ne'er-do-wells no that was I that did, was fun I, I did my creation one on uh building a model and painting it like the steps I go through for choosing colors and how to like create the color palette and stuff. And it was pretty, uh, it was pretty fun. But then the other fun thing was from that, we created the gaming club that's still at school, but it's no longer a club. It's an official position at the college now. Yeah. Like they pay somebody to get people together to play board games and RPGs because it worked so well. People were actually like, getting together um people were using school stuff to like teach things and it was a pretty great it was like oh start a gaming club yeah it's kind of fun and the school's like oh hey we can subsidize you for money and we're like 
And originally oh. that gaming and originally that gaming club was to find three more people so we could play D and D, and we found like thirty members at our peak when you and I were still actually running yeah. it. And and we're and we're still friends with a good chunk of them too. Like it's... yeah, it's how we actually met most of the people that even you know, Jonathan. We met most of those people because of the club. So it's pretty. So that's like so that's like the, that's that origin story right there. It's like this is how like this is how Clint and I got together as like friends and stuff and started this madcap journey. Yeah, and now we still and we still play games. Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. running mine in two weeks. I'm yeah. excited for that. But yeah, that'll that'll be the end of our our origin stories. Um, there'll be no stinger at the end of this for the villain that will be in this whole arc, but um. Yeah, until uh, tomorrow, which is uh, which is Friday, which is cool. Have a fun Friday. Um, we'll see you then.